Welcome to Bowl Game Radio. They reverse it to Shipley. Now he's going to throw the ball to Ash at the five to the goal line. Touchdown, Texas. A little razzle-dazzle. With Bruce Binkowski and Mark Neville. Boots it downfield. Got a receiver there. Caught at the 15, 10, 5. He scores. Bowl Game Radio on San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Hello, everybody, and thanks again for tuning in to the third season of Bowl Game Radio right here on the Mighty 1090. I'm Bruce Binkowski. And I'm Mark Neville. Believe it or not, we're nearing the end of the 2014 college football season. And thank you for joining us as we eagerly look forward to San Diego's postseason college football bowl games, the National University Holiday Bowl, and the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl. One month away. It's one month away. And tonight, uh, we're going to look at potential matchups in our two games and a visit with our good friend, from the Holiday Bowl and former Texas Longhorns head football coach, Mac Brown. And you know, this is a really exciting year for San Diego's bowl games and for college football in general. The, re- the uh, rankings for the college football playoff are already in week five, and the controversy and discussion continues. And in just a moment, we'll welcome our weekly contributor, former Aztecs and USC head coach Ted Tolner, to discuss the early matchup potentials as things are kind of becoming a little clearer seriously I, they're, they're not clear for me and we're going to talk about you know that. what they're, they're, they're getting clear all right we're going to talk about that in the, over the course of this program and uh, after we talk to the coach ted tolner we'll uh, chat with the uh, now espn analyst and former texas head coach mac brown and before we get started we'd like to remind you to like us on each of our facebook pages and follow us on twitter at poinsettia bowl and at holiday bowl game. So joining us uh, tonight and as always uh, weekly is the coach Ted Tolner. Ted, thanks for joining us again on Bowl Game Radio. My pleasure, guys. But I'm like Mark. I don't see this thing clearing up quite yet. We need another week. Uh, well, thank you. Wait a thank minute. you. Wait. No, what? No, I am That's the right. one. I'm the one no. that said it's not clear. You said it was clearing up, and I said no way. So <laughs> anyway. All right. So coach. Can, can we just get to the interview? All right. Here we go. Now, very important games this weekend. I mean, gigantic games. Uh, and I'm going to run through them real quick and get kind of get your reaction. And by the way, Coach Tolner is an expert because last week you uh-huh. correctly guessed UCLA over USC. That is correct. I felt guilty about that, though. My loyalties, but I thought UCLA was a better team. Well, you see, you pushed aside the loyalties and went with your gut. You and, have, and you're you an right. objective thinker here. So here we go. We're really going to put you on the spot because a lot of these games that are coming up in one way or another will affect the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, or the National University Holiday Bowl. And just a reminder, so for let's talk about the holiday first. Out of the Pac-12, we get the second selection after the college football playoff bowls get their selection. So however many games, however many teams go to the college football playoff access bowls, then it's the Alamo Bowl, then us. And then on the Big Ten side for the Holiday Bowl, it's the playoffs, and then we're a top-tier bowl, meaning we'll somehow get our pick around the bowl game in Orlando and around the bowl game in uh, Tampa, the Outback Bowl, and the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl, and the Holiday. So all that being said, which I'm sure confused everybody, let's look at some of the important games for the National University Holiday Bowl. Arizona State at Arizona, Coach. Uh, This is a big game. In fact, we were just talking to the people at Arizona today, and there is a buzz for this game that is unlike one they've had in a long, long time. So what do you think of that game? Who do you think would be favored, Arizona State, Arizona? Well, you know, I haven't even seen the points, but my gut has Arizona. uh, They're both good quality teams. I just have a gut feeling that Arizona is going to win this thing at home. And, you know, there is also talk that the winner of this game could could get an invitation to play in the Fiesta Bowl. So a lot at stake in the ASU-Arizona game. Okay, so you think Arizona. And, you know, I'm going to keep track this time so next week we can kind of cover and see just how good Coach Tolner did. No, no, I don't keep track of my record. Second <laughs> <laughs> games is not, not, not for me. It's fun to do, but I wouldn't want to make a living doing it. All right, well, no, I'm sure. Now, here we go. Stanford at UCLA. Now, th- this one is, is an important game because – if UCLA wins, they play Oregon in the Pac-12 title game. If they lose, then the winner of the Arizona State-Arizona game will play in the Pac-12 championship game. So, Coach, Stanford is at UCLA. Stanford's had a tough year up and down. Uh, do they have any chance at all at making a game of it against uh, the tough Bruins? 
if I think they have a chance of making it a game, I mean, UCLA's a better team, and their record speaks for it. UCLA's playing well now. They've been on a good roll lately, uh, and they're at home for the game. So I think they'll win it. But, you know, it's that same old thing. I mean, David Shaw does a great job at Stanford, and the record speaks for it over the years. They just, they've lost a couple games this year close and lost a couple other ones, and, and it's a down year record-wise. But, yeah, they can win the game. But, but UCLA's a better team right now, and they got more – more at stake, so I think they'll win it. Oregon is already going to represent the North in the Pac-12 championship that will be played up in Santa Clara uh, in a couple weeks. It will either be against UCLA, Arizona, or Arizona State. Do either of those three teams have a chance to knock Oregon off? I do. I, I believe that they can. I, I would Myself, I think UCLA has the best chance, even though you know they, they were defeated earlier. But... Uh, I, I think they have a good chance, and because UCLA has beat Arizona State, they beat Arizona, they beat USC, lost to Oregon, but I, I, I think they have the best chance on a rematch uh, of any of the teams. I'm Bruce Benkowski, along with Mark Neville. We're speaking with Ted Tolner, the coach, and uh, this is Bowl Game Radio on the Mighty 1090, and right now we're talking about the National University Holiday Bowl and how the games that are being played this weekend can impact one way or the other the Holiday Bowl matchups. Here's something I think that is very interesting that, that we thought of yesterday. So let's say you're the University of Arizona. Do you want Stanford to beat UCLA? Because if they do, the winner of that Arizona State-Arizona game is going to the Pac-12 championship. Here's the problem. If Arizona State or Arizona goes to the championship game and they lose to Oregon, they more than likely will be left out of the college football playoff access bowls. They almost would be in a better position to get to the college football access bowls if UCLA goes to the Pac-12 championship. It's a real, well, it's a, may, a little flaw in the be. system. You know what? That may be, Mark, but I don't believe that's where they're coming from. They, they've already beat Oregon once. They want another shot at them. They're the one team that beat them. And uh, well, they, they want Stanford to beat UCLA. So that, and then they have to go out and beat Arizona State and get a second shot at Oregon. So I, uh, I think that's what they want. So that's what I'd be talking about if I was part of that program. We want another shot at that. That's what I was going to ask you as a coach. What would you want? And as a coach, you'd say, hey, we want another shot at Oregon because we want to beat them. You want to win the Pac-12 championship. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Now, one more game out of – We think we can. We've already done it once. We think we can, so let's give us another shot. Okay. Now, one more game out of the Pac-12 that could have an impact on the National University Holiday Bowl. That's Notre Dame at USC. Now, that's kind of weird because it's a non-conference game, but – if SC wins that game, there's a possibility, not a guarantee, but a possibility they could end up in the holiday. And if they lose, then chances are they won't. You've got two teams, Coach, that are struggling right now. Who, who do you think would be a favorite in this one if you were to pick them? I, I like USC over Notre Dame. Notre Dame's been struggling now for weeks. USC got beat handily last week by UCLA, but they, they haven't been struggling quite to the same level that, that Notre Dame has since that close win over the Naval Academy, and so I, I think USC will beat Notre Dame. And uh, you know, I mean, picking games is so much for picking games. That's what I think. Just a, a random question here, Coach: To USC, if they could win only one game, would they rather beat Notre Dame or UCLA? Mm, I guess if you talk to a whole bunch of alums, I think you'd get a split on that. There, I always felt like UCLA. Even though they were both big, and one has that inner that national tradition, where UCLA USC is local, but it's local and it's for bragging rights, and all the players know each other, and you know the city of LA and all the business guys that are there that went to those two schools. I think UCLA. At least that was my experience in the five years I was there. You're listening to Bowl Game Radio on the Mighty 1090. Right now, we're talking about potential matchups for the National University Holiday Bowl, which will be played Saturday, December the 27th, 5 o'clock kickoff at Qualcomm Stadium. Go to San Diego Bowl Games.com for all the ticket information you need. So we've talked about the Pac 12. Now let's look so at the, the Pac 12 team. teams, and just to, to close out well, the Pac 12, we're looking at either Arizona, USC, UCLA, and Arizona State. Those are the four. Yep, yeah. Those all are right. the four. Now yeah. let's go on the other side. Uh, a couple of big games coming up, Minnesota at Wisconsin. Now, you've got to say that the job Jerry Kill has done at Minnesota has been tremendous. Wisconsin's a good football team. Talk about those two programs. What do you, what do you know about them? Well, they're both really quality programs, but you know, I, 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 I really like Wisconsin as far as who's the best team, but I'm pulling for Minnesota inside just because I think they've done a tremendous job of coaching. 
uh, it's it's a kind of an overachieving team that that plays with great energy and great spirit, and they got behind last week and came back and won. I mean, I I just they haven't had the same kind of success that Wisconsin has, so I'm kind of pulling for them for that degree. But Wisconsin, I believe, is the better football team. And there's a lot at stake in that game because the winner will represent the West and go to the Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Ted Tolner will uh, uh, will be following that game very closely because, uh, who knows, the loser of the Big Ten championship game could, could come to the National University Holiday Bowl. Maybe not. So there's a lot at stake there. Now here's another game that may have an impact on the holiday, Nebraska at Iowa. Now I'm not saying that we have a chance of getting either one of those teams, but they're in the picture. Nebraska, this is a must, must win for the Cornhuskers. They've had two tough back-to-back losses. No question about it. And, and you know, there'll be a certain amount of pressure. As good as their record is, they've lost two in a row, and, and their, their, their expectations are so high at Nebraska, where Iowa, I think, will play much more relaxed. It should be a heck of a football game. I'm going to, you know, the game is at Iowa, and I'm going to, I feel like Iowa in a very close game. Well, this is, there's so many great games in the Pac-12 and the Big Ten coming up this weekend. So uh, that's the picture for the National University Holiday Bowl. So basically you're saying four teams that, that we're looking at in the Big Ten for the most part. Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Correct. Or, and they're all, you know, in the combination, Nebraska's playing at Iowa and, uh, and Minnesota's playing at Wisconsin. So that's going to solve some of it. This however, is exciting, Bruce. However... There is a possibility another team from the Big Ten could sneak their way into a, the holiday Let me guess. picture. Michigan State? Could be a Michigan State. If, what if they, I doubt they're going to lose uh, this coming weekend, but uh, they, if they finish 10-2, and two, let's say, for example, uh, a crazy uh, scenario, let's say Wisconsin beats Minnesota, goes to the Big Ten title game, and beats Ohio State. They both would probably end up in the playoffs, if you will, and... Yeah. Uh, then the um, all of a sudden Michigan State would be looking for a place to play. So there's another team out there. Gosh, yeah. so you're you're telling me the Holiday Bowl is going to be UCLA, Arizona State, Arizona, or USC against a Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, maybe a Michigan State. Maybe that's not bad. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway, the game uh, the game is December the 27th at Qualcomm Stadium. So we'll find out for sure in the next couple of weeks. Well, I agree, Mark. I mean, it, no matter however that falls. I mean, we're going to get a great matchup of, of, of rich tradition universities that are used to winning and being in bowl games. Uh, it, I'm really looking forward to it when it finally settles down. Now let's go over to the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl. This is a little more clear than well, the National University. Well, a little more bowl. clear. Okay. And that game is December the 23rd at Qualcomm Stadium, 6.30 p.m. kickoff. So we have the Poinsettia on the 23rd, holiday on the 27th. If you're a college football fan, December is a great time here in San Diego. So let's look at Navy at South Alabama. Coach, Navy almost beat Notre Dame. We thought they'd have their hand full, uh, hands full against Georgia Southern. Beat them handily. So you got to figure Navy should go to South Alabama and win that game. That, that's how I feel. I mean, they're playing on a, again, they're playing with positive uh, attitude the last few weeks. Not only the, the way they played against Notre Dame, but then the win last week. Uh, I, I think they're, they're in good shape right now from a morale standpoint. Not, not, don't look at their record. It's five and six, but I really believe that they're playing as good a football as they've played all year. The quarterback is in sync, and, and they're going to win that game. Now, remember, if Navy gets bowl eligible, they have to win their sixth game. If that would be their sixth win. They are coming to San Diego if they beat South Alabama, regardless of what happens in the Army-Navy game on December the 13th. So for the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, the Navy-South Alabama game's a big one because if Navy wins, they're coming to San Diego. Yeah. Now, the other game that we're going to watch closely is San Diego State hosting San Jose State. If San Diego State wins that game, they're 7-5, and five, and they'd have a great opportunity to play in the hometown bowl game. Uh, not saying that's actually going to happen, but that's what we're looking at at this point. If they lose, who knows? So, again, you would think, after the way San Diego State played against Air Force, they should beat San Jose State, a, a struggling team in the Mountain West. Yeah, on paper they should. I mean, I thought San Diego State really played well against a very good Air Force team, and uh, the game wasn't really in doubt as they got into the second half. I mean, San Diego State handled them uh, much easier than I thought they would. Uh, so I, I, I see them beating San Jose State and being 7-5. and five. The other part of the scenario is that you're, I'm sure you're going to bring up is, is, believe it or not, Fresno State, if they beat Hawaii, 
which they're playing at home. They're playing Hawaii and in Fresno. They end up playing in the championship game for the west part of the Mountain West. And we don't even know who's going to be in the mountain part of the Mountain West Championship. That's right. It could be Utah State. It could be Boise State. Uh, even Colorado, Colorado State. State. Yeah. Colorado, yeah. You know, here we are down to the last week or two of the college football season, and still there's so many possibilities. And so people know, if Fresno State does win this weekend, go to the then goes to the uh, Mountain West Championship, yeah. and they lose that game, they're six and seven. What we're hearing is that they are still eligible to go to a bowl game. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. That is correct. So yeah, that was they, interesting. I didn't realize that. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, Coach, there you have it. Th- those are all the scenarios for both of our big bowl games. Uh, I think we covered just about everything that we can cover, other than we'll talk this time next week and we'll find out how you did in your selections. And oh. we'll also have other things we can talk about. <laughs> and we, we'll still continue to speculate, but uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a better idea who's going to play in the well, San Diego. I'm biased on it. I, I want San Diego State to beat. Uh, San Jose and San, and San Diego State against Navy in the bowl. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I hope it works that way. It would be an exciting time for our community, that's for sure. Coach Ted Tolner, thanks for joining us on Bowl Game Radio. We'll talk again this time next week, and we'll keep on speculating away until Selection Sunday on December the 7th. Thanks, guys. I enjoy it. Take care. We are going to take a break. You're listening to Bowl Game Radio on the San Diego Bowl Game Media Network and the Mighty 1090.